This morning I've come into the greenhouse to do some harvesting. Now today is the last day of 2023. The morning is still nice and crisp so it's a good time to come into the greenhouse before it gets too hot. So that is the, of course the, the last day of December and we're getting close to the, the middle of summer here in Tasmania. Though of course January and February are probably the warmer months and drier months which are still to come. But it's really nice to get this early production from these tomatoes. Uh, the advanced plants that I put in are now starting to produce. But along with the tomatoes, I wanted to take you for a little bit of a run around the garden and show you what we're actually harvesting this time of the year. Some of the rewards that we're now reaping for the effort that we put in earlier or continuously you know, across time. Also, Elizabeth has a couple of recipes to show you uh, as to how we utilize some of those foods that we are harvesting at this time of the year. So with the tomatoes, as I said, the only those advanced plants that are harvesting as yet. Outside, the tomatoes are still growing and not near harvest at this stage. The Apollo here and the Sindel are the two tomatoes that are producing uh, the substantial quantity and that's only just beginning to happen. Today is probably the biggest harvest that I have made. The Tommy Toe of course is a small tomato so <laughs> you don't really uh, impact your quantity greatly from it but they're a really tasty tomato. Of course I cloned uh, more of those. I have about three more Tommy Toes so over the next few weeks we'll get quite a few more of those coming along. Now I always grow some sweet basil along with my tomatoes. It's claimed that sweet basil is a companion plant that will actually help deter uh, whitefly but I really don't see a great deal of impact from it because the sweet basil of course is down here and the tomato plants are up there and that's where the whitefly problem is. So I do still have to come in and spray for the whitefly in this enclosed space of the greenhouse. But with the sweet basil, it's really nice, of course, to have with tomato and it's a great summer uh, herb to use. So Elizabeth has got a recipe showing you how we use our sweet basil to make pesto. And we use a slightly different recipe to what a lot of people do. The other thing that I'm harvesting here in the greenhouse are the cucumbers and I've been picking cucumbers now for probably three weeks and this is the muncher cucumber the one that I grow regularly it's really my favorite because it's a really nice crisp cucumber uh, it's a type of Lebanese cucumber and I always keep my own seed and just keep growing it and I grow the one type and we really enjoy those across summer. It will produce over quite a few weeks, but it's really doing really well now. And today was a really major pick. Of course, with tomato and cucumber, the other thing that you like to include into your salad as the great salad vegetables is lettuce. Now, this one is yellow Australian, very similar to Simpsons. Actually, when I've grown them side by side, I can't tell the difference. Growing here in the greenhouse, of course, it tends to bolt quite quickly, but it's a really soft lettuce, produces really well, as you can see, really quick. And we quite enjoy that. We've also grow other lettuce as well, but uh, this one 
is just looking great at the moment. We have been picking lots of broad beans. Now, most of those have gone into the freezer. We utilize a lot of our broad beans as hummus and having a frozen resource for the next few months will be really good because with this size uh, crop, you can't utilize them all at once, of course. But there's still a few there that can be picked. I will leave some, of course, to go to seed. But that's a really nice uh, food source this time of year. Coming into the raised beds, the zucchinis are now producing and we've got quite a few of those. We have over here, the carrots uh, are now digging and also beetroot. There was a few cabbages that I planted which were from plants that I bought and because of that they all come pretty much at once. So they've all been harvested but they haven't all been used. We have some in the cellar, I have some turning into sauerkraut and we'll utilise that of course across a little bit of time. But if you leave it in the garden it's just going to bolt and go to seed this time of the year. I also have a fairly late crop of snow peas and they actually need picking by the look of it now. Uh, so yeah, that's some nice food there. A couple of days ago, I pulled the garlic out of this section of the garden and it's now drying. So we have garlic certainly available to use. The true garlic came out about a month ago and is now being utilized in the kitchen. Into this section where the garlic came out and also where there's some cabbages, I will then plant in, within the next week, hopefully, a uh, late crop of potatoes. Potatoes, of course, are something that we grow uh, progressively throughout the year and they're always available. At the moment, we have uh, new season uh, potatoes and we also still have older potatoes from the winter crop. So plenty of potatoes available. So Elizabeth has a recipe for you using potatoes, which is quite different to many ways in which people eat potatoes. Berries are one of the great delights of this time of the year. And the raspberries here behind me have been producing quite nicely. They are really coming to the end now, but we have been still getting a few uh, and along with some strawberries, you know, enough to make some really nice uh, berry breakfasts or any other way that you like to enjoy them. The strawberries, are uh, in their mid-season production now, the early one finished, and now it's the, the mid-crop that's come, and it's looking really nice. 
I'm really happy with the size and the flavor, uh, particularly of the new plants that I put in. Now, there were some plants that were from seed and they are not as good. It's really the ones that I bought some new plants and they are the best. Red Gauntlet is the variety that I grow. Uh, of course, the seedling ones were from Red Gauntlet, but are they really true? I don't think so. They're not nearly as good a crop as. The flavor's okay, but the crop is certainly much lower. We're also harvesting silvan berries, and they are nice addition. Uh, quite a few of those are going in the freezer because when you get so many, it's one way to actually extend the uh, utilization of them. In terms of the fruit trees, we have the peaches, which are ripening now, and this is a Red Haven peach. Really enjoy this peach. If you can get it to ripen to a nice juicy peach uh, without any attack, it's really, really tasty. I don't generally net it because we don't get a lot of bird trouble, really only at the very top of the tree. But it's a fresh eating peach, not a cooking peach ideally, uh, though you can cook it, but fresh is the tastiest way to enjoy it. It's really the first of the tree crops of fruit that we have coming into production. The other one is some plums. Now this plum tree was really planted only as a fertilization tree for other varieties. It's a long time ago now and I don't actually remember the variety. I think it might be a Wixen, but I'm not 100% certain. It, it's a salad plum and they're not a plum that you can uh, utilize in terms of cooking or preservation very well. They don't taste so good, but they're really nice just to eat or in a fruit salad. Very refreshing if you, when they're ripe, you throw them in the fridge and then eat them, they're really tasty. So being a big tree like this, we can't net it. So we have to compete with the birds, which I saw one up there a minute ago, flitting around trying to find some ripe plums. So that's what we're harvesting this time of the year and that's the rewards that we really reap for the work that we've put in uh, across time and in the springtime. Hope you've enjoyed that film and wish you all the best for the, the new year which will have begun by the time you actually get to see this.